Hi, I'm Steggy from Elgato, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can turn your 4K60 Pro Mark II from an internal capture card into an external capture card. Now, if you already own a 4K60 Pro Mark II, then you're already aware of all of the great features it has for both live streaming and recording. And if you've ever wanted to take those features on the road with you, you can do so with this little hack. And to do this little hack, all you really need is this, which is a Thunderbolt 3 PCIe chassis. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Thunderbolt, it's a connection protocol where Thunderbolt 3 has so much bandwidth, you can actually use full PCIe devices on your computer with Thunderbolt if you have a converter. And that's what this does. So this converts PCIe into Thunderbolt 3, so you can plug this into a laptop or a desktop computer in case you've run out of PCIe lanes. Now, you might have already seen these kind of adapters on the market before. They're predominantly used for GPUs, so you might have seen the term eGPU thrown around here. Now, the chassis that we decided to go with is this High Point Rocket Store. Now, this is not a full eGPU chassis. It doesn't have an X16 PCIe lane. It just has an X4, but because the 4K60 Pro is just a 4X PCIe card, this will work great for what we're gonna do here. And it's actually one of the more affordable chassis at only about $190. So first, unscrew the thumb screws on the back of the chassis. Once they're loosened, you can slide out the tray. Next, take your 4K60 Pro Mark II and slot it into the PCIe slot here. Then secure it with the chassis provided screw. Then slide the tray back into the chassis and tighten the thumb screws. And that's literally it. Now you can connect the power cable, plug that into the wall, and then connect the chassis to your computer with the provided Thunderbolt 3 cable, and you're all set. Now, one thing to keep in mind is, whether you're using the 4K60 Pro as a PCIe device or as a Thunderbolt device using a chassis like this, you're still dealing with the same driver, so the same rules still apply. So you will need Windows 10 that meets the system requirements of the 4K60 Pro in order for this to work. So in case you have something like a MacBook Pro, which is one of the more common computers because it has four Thunderbolt 3 ports, you would need to boot camp this with Windows 10 if you wanted this setup to work. And so one last thing to keep in mind is, before getting into this whole setup, you wanna make sure your computer actually has a Thunderbolt 3 port because Thunderbolt 3 uses USB-C just like other protocols. So if you have a USB-C port on your computer, it might just be a USB 3.1 port and not an actual Thunderbolt 3 port with the full 40 gigabits per second bandwidth. So you do need that in order to use these types of expansion devices. So just make 100% sure that you actually have Thunderbolt 3 on your computer before delving into this type of setup. But once you're all set up, now you have the power of 4K60 Pro Mark II with you anywhere you go. So you have 4K60 HDR pass-through and capture. You have high refresh rate capture. So you can do 1440p 144 hertz or 1080p 240 hertz. You have multi-app support. So you can have this open in OBS while you're streaming and recording in 4K CU. So you can be creating content for both live streaming and YouTube, which is really great. And this setup's all-in cost is about $440 before tax or if you already own the 4K60 Pro Mark II, you're just spending an additional 190 before tax uh, just getting the chassis. However, if you're looking for either a less expensive setup or a less bulky setup, we would suggest going with our newly released 4K60S Plus, which does do 4K60 HDR pass-through and capture, and even has a PC-free standalone mode where you can record 4K60 HDR footage straight to an SD card, which is really phenomenal. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little life hack for the 4K60 Pro Mark II. If you guys tried this out, be sure to let us know in the comments section down below. Once again, I'm Steggy from Elgato, and until our next video, good luck and have fun.